Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Truth behind Mama June's sobriety exposed at upcoming court date. The truth behind Mama June Shannon's sobriety will be exposed at an upcoming court date. Though she claims she has been clean and sober for years, fans and followers do not believe this. Now all of the debate will be put to rest. Keep reading for more details on what is to come in the sobriety debate. Mama June Shannon fell down a deep hole after she underwent her amazing transformation. Here comes Honey Boo Boo was cancelled then things fell apart with Sugar Bear. She ended up completely revamping herself with weight loss surgery and a whole body makeover. It was a new June and that helped her land from not to hot. Unfortunately, all of the hard work and money went down the drain when she and her boyfriend, Jen Odoke, fell into addiction. June lost some veneers and eventually gained back much of the weight she had lost. Though she got sober and Gino was no longer in her life, June ended up meeting Justin Strud, who was also trying to stay sober. She would make videos and go live on social media. Followers would call her out for the way she looked or acted as they felt she was using again. They even noted her skin looked unhealthy and that of one of an addict. Still, she has maintained she is sober and now everyone will find out the truth at an upcoming court date. June is currently fighting for custody of her late daughter, Anna Cardwell's eldest daughter, Caitlin. She is going up against Anna's ex-husband, Michael Cardwell. They met in court on Tuesday, July 16th, and now, according to The Sun, Mama June's drug test results will be revealed. This will happen at their next court date. Her lawyer has subpoenaed June's occupational medicine doctor to attend the final hearing between the 44-year-old and Michael. Per the filing, you are hereby subpoenaed. Drug test results from January 1. 2023 present for your patient, June Shannon. She also has filed for Eldridge Tony, Anna's second husband, to attend the hearing as well. Mama June has her ducks in a row while Michael Cardwell's employer is said to have to attend the next hearing. Additionally, he has three people speaking for him, but will that be enough? He maintained that even after he and Anna divorced, he supported Caitlin while staying very close to her. Though he is not Caitlin's biological father, he and Anna did have a daughter, Kylie. Many followers believe the sisters should remain together, especially after losing their mother. Caitlin allegedly wrote a letter stating she wanted to stay with June, but it is being questioned if she was the real writer of it. In a small courtroom in rural Georgia, a hush fell over the crowd as the judge called the next case. The gallery was packed with reporters, fans, and a few curious locals who had come to witness the latest twist in the saga of Mama June Shannon. The once beloved reality TV star was about to face a day of reckoning, and the truth behind her sobriety would finally be exposed. June sat at the defendant's table, her hands clasped tightly in front of her. She looked different than the last time the public had seen her on screen. Her once vibrant hair was now subdued, and there were deep lines of worry etched into her face. She had been through a lot, but today was about more than just her. It was about her family, her legacy, and the countless fans who had followed her journey from the beginning. Her attorney, a sharp-dressed woman named Emily Ward, leaned over and whispered something in her ear. June nodded, taking a deep breath. The courtroom doors swung open, and the prosecution team entered, led by Assistant District Attorney Charles McAllister. He was known for his no-nonsense approach and had a reputation for digging deep into his cases. The judge, a stern woman with an air of authority, called the court to order. We are here today to address the charges against June Shannon, including allegations of drug possession and child endangerment. We will also examine the claims regarding her sobriety and the truth behind it. The prosecution wasted no time. Mihalister stood, adjusting his glasses as he began. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, 
Today we will present evidence that Mama June Shannon's so-called sobriety is nothing more than a carefully constructed facade. We have reason to believe that her public persona as a reformed woman is a lie, designed to manipulate the public and avoid the consequences of her actions. Concerns McAllister prompted. The tension in the courtroom was palpable. McAllister turned to the jury. You see, ladies and gentlemen, the evidence is clear. Miss Shannon has not been honest about her sobriety. She has manipulated those around her and deceived the public. Emily Ward stood up, ready to defend her client. Dr. Harris, isn't it true that recovery is a difficult and often nonlinear process? She asked. Yes, that's true, Dr. Harris conceded. And wouldn't you agree that relapses can happen, even to those who are committed to getting clean? Ward pressed. Yes, relapses are a part of recovery, Dr. Harris admitted. Thank you, Dr. Harris. No further questions, Ward said, turning to June. Now I'd like to call June Shannon to the stand. June stood up, her heart pounding. She took the oath and sat down, looking out at the sea of faces before her. Emily Ward approached her gently. June, can you tell us about your journey to sobriety? June took a deep breath, her voice trembling. I've been through a lot. More than most people know. When I first started using, I thought it was the only way to escape my problems. But I knew it was destroying me and hurting my family. So I decided to get help. And did you? Ward asked softly. Yes, I did. June said, tears welling up in her eyes. But it wasn't easy. I had setbacks and I made mistakes. I won't deny that. But I never gave up trying to be better. Ward nodded. Why did you stop seeing Dr. Harris? June hesitated. I felt like he wasn't listening to me anymore. He was more focused on the numbers and the tests than on me as a person. I needed support, not judgment. Ward turned to the jury. Ladies and gentlemen, my client is not perfect. She has struggled as many people do. But she has also shown resilience and determination. The prosecution wants you to believe that she is beyond redemption. But I ask you to consider the whole person, not just her mistakes. The judge called for a recess and June returned to her seat, exhausted but hopeful. She had told her truth and now it was up to the jury to decide her fate. As the courtroom emptied, June's family gathered around her, offering support and encouragement. Her daughter, Alana, hugged her tightly. No matter what happens, Mama, we love you, she whispered. June nodded, feeling a surge of gratitude. Whatever the outcome, she knew she had the love and support of her family. And in that moment, she felt a glimmer of hope for the future. The court reconvened, and the jury filed back into the room, their expressions unreadable. The judge asked the foreperson to stand and deliver the verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant, June Shannon, guilty of the charges against her, the foreperson announced. June's heart sank, but she held her head high. She had faced the truth, and now she would face the consequences. As she was led away, she glanced back at her family, drawing strength from their unwavering support. In the end, the truth had been exposed, and Mama June's journey was far from over. But with the love of her family and the determination to keep fighting, she knew she could overcome whatever lay ahead.